The next thing we're going to work on is the stripes. So I'm going to get my pen tool by pressing the P on my keypad. And I'm going to hover right over the edge of this um, outer shape that I've got. But I'm not going to click here because I have this little circle next to my pen tool. And that means that if I click, for example, I'm just going to add another anchor point to this sh shape that I've already made. So instead of doing that, I'm going to hold down shift and that will allow me to make an entirely new point. I know that this is a new point because this shape did not get highlighted when I clicked. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and create this shape. And do one in the middle and this one on the end. Before I change directions, I'm going to hold down Alt and move the handle to the direction I want to go. And it looks like I, I was using my drawing instead of my actual line here, so I will have to fix that uh, when, I, when I finish here. I'm going to click and drag on this side. And click here. Hold down Alt, change directions, and finish the shape. And it looks like that last one, if I zoom in, looks a little too straight. So I'm going to undo it and click and drag a little bit so that I have a little bit of a curve. There we go. Okay, now I said I was going to fix this one down here. So here I go, zooming in. I'm going to get my direct selection tool and click on it and move it. There it is. Okay. And that's what we've got so far. I could create this one again, but since these two shapes are pretty similar, I might be able to use this shape again. So I'm going to hold down Option or Alt and drag this shape. And let's see if we can use our direct selection tool to rearrange these anchor points and handles so that they work with our new shape. Okay, again, I know that this is selected when I see all the handles and anchor points. Click there, move this one, readjust. Readjust. Again, this is all about just messing with things until they look right. This is going to take a little bit of practice. Hold down Alt to change the direction. Okay, and this one is just really not working for me. So I'm going to get the Convert Anchor tool. And I'm going to redo this angle. There, that's much better. Okay, now if I click to the side, now you can see what we have so far. And it looks like something's wrong right there, so let's zoom in and find out what it is. Grab that direct selection tool and work with it a little bit. All right, that looks better.